After making a big debut here in Korea last week, the movie Interstellar is soaring even higher on the wings of strong word of mouth. Some say the sci-fi genre is finally getting its day in the sun here in Korea. But can the local industry get in on the action? For some answers, we have our film critic, Pierce Conrad, in the studio. Good afternoon, Pierce. Good afternoon. So the movie uh, has been getting a lot of buzz, and it's going strong at the box office. So how would you account for its success, and how far do you think it will go? Well, I think uh, the film was certainly has been receiving a lot of buzz ever since uh, it's been kind of marketed for the last few months, and it really has has this big pec this big picture event feel, and so I think that kind of ensured a strong debut, and we saw that. In fact, the debut in Korea was uh, was much bigger than in other markets. Mm -hmm. It opened to about 50 million dollars in the states, whereas it opened to uh, you know something like 15 million dollars in Korea, and so that's kind of if you. Consider like the how many people are seeing it, you know, in return to the size of the country. That's uh, double the opening, and uh, beyond that, uh, the film is poised to do even better in its second weekend. It's already it's running about 50 percent ahead of last week, which is really extraordinary. And I think that we can account for that, where it's not just a question of the film's vision and ambition. It's really kind of this uh, this blend of its kind of a, the, the emotional angles of the film. So it's kind of a it's it's a full package that I think is uh, particularly appealing for Korean audiences. Mm -hmm. And last year we had a Snowpiercer and Gravity making a big hit in the, for the Korean audience. So is it safe to say at this point that sci-fi genre is uh, booming in the Korean uh, cinema industry? Um, I wouldn't go quite so far, but I do think that Korean spectators are very interested in spectacle. Um, we see there are certain viewing formats that are very popular in Korea, like IMAX and of course 4DX. Mm -hmm. And these days when you see a film, you can do it so many different ways. There's different uh, different sound you can use, there's uh, Atmos, things like that. And um, so uh, films like uh, sci-fi kind of uh, is very much a, a, a cinema spectacle and often it's uh, you want to see it in the best visual way possible. Mm -hmm. So we have films like uh, Gravity, which is very much a, a, an, an event picture as well, which kind of a, a pre was showing a new experience in the cinema. And so that was, uh, was you know, people were very keen on that in Korea. Um, and the same thing with uh, Snowpiercer was a very much a visual, uh, visually appealing film, but also made by a big Korean filmmaker. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was a, a very exciting moment. People were, were, were excited to see a Korean film of big kind of Hollywood and, and British stars. Now the thing is, um, Interstellar um, is, is going to be close to 5 million admissions by the end of this weekend, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, it's already you know, going to go much further than Gravity. But uh, if we take um, Snowpiercer as a benchmark, which finished at about 9.3 million, mm -hmm. which makes it currently the 11th uh, most successful film in Korea, um, I think Interstellar may come close to that. I mean, 